stupid phone. I did a video and somehow it got uh, disconnected without uh, uploading anything. So three minutes and a half of my life wasted. Uh, done with the install. As you can see, it came out pretty well, pretty good. Um, it's on there flush. These I installed afterwards with the Dremel, cut out little holes around it. I need to touch them up because I scratched them. Um, installed that. Uh, installed the Sirius XM as well. Uh, I mounted the XM receiver right here. And the antenna, I ran it. Actually, the best place is, and I showed this early in the video, but I closed it up, is to run it through, since it has to be on the outside, is to run it through, if I can find my card. What in God's name? Well, you're safe. So the best place, this thing better not drop down again. Oh, there we go. Best place to run it through is take this down and you got your spot for your original antenna. Unscrew that middle bolt right there. You can focus, there you go. And uh, you can take that off and uh, run it through there. Just, uh, as you can see, mine's coming out there on the back. I put some uh, like weatherproofing stuff on there is what I did. Sealed it so it doesn't rain in here. And then you can drop it down through there. Comes around the windshield and run it through there like that. Run back to your stereo all the way through the air, a pillar and I went through here like that. Bang, 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 and it came out perfect right there. Uh, the other thing I mentioned was uh, there's a lot of uh, this car, battery's pretty strong, and plus I got auxiliary batteries. If you're gonna run wires, I recommend not running them on the ground. You'll get some interference probably. So either insulate them, which is what I did, or and move some up to other places. So I did a little bit of both, and uh, I'll just do that later. Yeah, so that is that. Uh, this also, another thing is I used the original, this came with the car, and I used that. The only thing, since it was a single DIN, it had a little line going through the middle. Through right there, there was like a little plastic, and with a little Dremel, 20 bucks, 25 bucks at a Walmart. You cut that away, and you got a perfect OEM mounting bracket, is what I used, so. I could, yeah, I would recommend that. Uh, what else? That's about it for this. Uh, right, yeah, well, another thing is like, if you don't have the money and you don't like the way the system sounds, uh, just buy a different unit, head unit, and like a, even a cheap one, a $20, or not $20, like $100 one from Walmart, as long as it's got, you know, like 20 RMS, 20 amps, watts RMS, uh, it'll make your speaker sound way better. Like, I didn't realize how good they are till it was I already bought different ones because but once I changed the head unit the original one sounded really good so yeah I would uh, advise you to do that and uh, next I will be doing a conversion up front installing uh, the projector headlights but it's just a conversion kit the mini ones not that I'm not gonna buy the actual whole thing that's like 350 a piece although I could but uh, I'm not I'm gonna try out the, these ones first and the daytime running lights that I'm gonna install, those you can find on eBay for like 20 bucks and they look awesome. They're, they change color too, so they're white when you're driving and once you start signaling, they turn to amber and they're pretty cool. So um, yeah, there's that. So there you go. install, it's not that difficult. You guys don't have to pay a couple hundred bucks for them to install it. You can do it on your own as long as you got some free time and just common sense, don't be a complete tool and you can do it. Like I have zero elect electrical experience or anything like that. Just common sense and able to read on the internet and follow instructions so you can do it the cameras I got three but I ripped or not I didn't do it the guy loading me up ripped my cable in half so I have to put it back together for the backup one we got the dashboard camera and we got the rear view that's not working like I said the idiot broke it and then I got the front one so three cameras you can install on this one Uh, yep. Uh, yep, yep, yep. So good luck with your projects. I'll uh, post the other ones I keep doing. I'm uh, also building um, an AC unit and ice one, like a homemade one. But instead of a cooler, I'm using, I have an old, not old, actually bought it in January. just don't like it because it wasn't a real fridge. It was a mini fridge, but it was one of those that just changes uh, the ambient temperature. Whatever the room temperature is, it'll drop like the fridge to like, you know, 30 less than whatever it is. So I didn't know that when I bought it, I spent 250 bucks, and then I bought one last week from Walmart for 70. That's even got a freezer in it. So like an idiot, I spent like 100 and some dollars more than I should have. So out of that, I'm gonna actually build an AC thing because if you build it into a cooler, ice will melt in like 
10 minutes you'll it's so hot and humid on the east coast that you'll go through ice like crazy but i figured if i put in that little mini fridge and plug it in the 12 volt socket it'll keep the ice colder and be able i'll be able to use it longer instead of throwing it away so i'll let you i'll shoot a video on that how it went and how i did it and the conversion and i'm still working on the insulation well, insulation might be done by the time i sell the van